A bike ride turned deadly for a North Kingstown woman and a retired Providence police officer is being charged in her death. The suspected DUI incident happening last night near the intersection of Boston Neck Road and Earl Drive in North Kingstown. Jake Holter is live in North Kingstown with the story. Jake. Mike and Shannon, it was just before seven last night that 53 year old Linda Sherman was hit from behind while riding her tricycle. The man accused appearing in Kent County Court this morning. It's avoidable and this this woman's life um, is now taken because of someone else's actions. 59 year old Daniel Famiglietti accused of hitting and killing North Kingstown resident Linda Sherman while he was driving under the influence. Just before 7 Thursday evening, police say Sherman was riding her tricycle in the breakdown lane of Boston Neck Road when she was hit from behind by a Jeep. And police say it was Famiglietti behind the wheel. I think every Rhode Islander should be held to the standard of not driving impaired, um, regardless of their title. There's never an excuse for someone to get behind the wheel. There's so many alternatives. 12 News has learned Famiglietti was a Providence police officer who retired in 2022. He's been charged with driving under the influence resulting in death as police say Sherman was pronounced dead at Kent Hospital. Anytime we hear of a crash, it's just deeply saddening. Uh, knowing that someone's life was taken by a 100% preventable crime. Linda's friends telling me off camera she was extremely active in the community, volunteering at school functions, Meals on Wheels, and early childhood screenings, to name a few. A physical therapist at Newport Hospital, they tell us she was an avid swimmer whose loss will be deeply felt in North Kingstown. The court clerk telling us Famiglietti was released on bail following his arraignment this morning. We reached out to him for comment, but have not yet heard back. Reporting live in North Kingstown, Jay Coulter, 12 News. Retired Providence police officer is accused of hitting and killing a North Kingstown woman while driving under the influence. This happening not last night near the intersection of Boston Neck Road and Earl Drive in North Kingstown. Jay Coulter joins us now live with what he's learned about the investigation. Jake. And Mike and Shannon, 59 year old Daniel Miglietti was arraigned in Kent County Court this morning on a charge of DUI death resulting. And friends of the victim that I spoke with say they just can't believe that she's gone. A suspected impaired driving incident cutting the life of a North Kingstown woman short Thursday night. Friends of 53 year old Linda Sherman say she was a pillar in the community. A physical therapist at Newport Hospital, her friends telling me off camera she volunteered for just about any cause and they are devastated by the loss. It's so deeply impactful to so many people. Um, it really does ripple and send waves through entire communities. It's not just a few people that are impacted. Each of these crashes have at least 50 people that really it does stay with them and it does deeply impact them and it changes their lives forever. Jennifer O'Neill is a victim services specialist with Mothers Against Drunk Driving who tells us this loss was completely avoidable. This crash didn't need to happen. There's so many opportunities for people to find safe ride alternatives. You know, you can plan ahead. There's always ride share services, friends and family that can pick you up. There's never a reason for someone to be impaired by any substance and get behind a wheel. Just before 7 Thursday evening, police say Sherman was riding her tricycle in the breakdown lane of Boston Neck Road when she was hit from behind by a Jeep. She later died at Kent Hospital from her injuries. Police say the driver of the Jeep was 59 year old Daniel Famiglietti of Warwick. A retired Providence police officer, he's been charged with driving under the influence resulting in death. It it is very disheartening to hear that someone who um, should be within a role like that would make that type of decision. And the court clerk telling us that Famiglietti was released on bail following his arraignment this morning. We reached out to him for comment, but have yet to hear back. Reporting live in North Kingstown, Jake Coulter, 12 News.